Matt Santigapita from the Santa Sells Houses team, and this is another episode of our Monday Market Update. So I'm going to jump straight into the numbers, and then I want to talk about uh, what we've kind of seen, what I think we're going to see for the next little bit, um, and trying to answer some questions that we seem to be getting a lot of. So anyway, so uh, this past seven days in the city of London, we see new listings come in at 126, conditionals at 19, and solds at 149. Now, one thing that I've noticed is I couldn't remember the last time new listings or new listings numbers in London were higher than solds. So I looked it up. So it's been seven weeks where our sales have outpaced new listings. So the last time we saw that was the week of October 11th. Oddly enough, new listings came in on uh, at 115 and solds came in at 115. So. Uh, interesting after that it was actually a few more weeks prior to that before we saw new listings bump up but so what that has actually caused in the market is um, increased sellers market but the other thing is that the um, uh, amount of inventory we have keeps dropping so as it sits right now we have 0.6 months worth of inventory in the city of London now what that means and we've talked about in the past but if let's just say for the next 0.6 months, so call it just over two weeks, we didn't see a single another new listing come to market in the city of London. That means there would be nothing left to buy. Two weeks, we're talking maybe 15, 16 days, whatever 0.6 of a month really works out to is very low. And that explains why we're seeing this big uptick in bidding wars and prices getting higher and we're setting new records. The other thing I wanted to look at, because I was just kind of curious, was where do we sit for the median home price? We're now sitting at a medium home price, median home price of 621, which so far this year is up about 10%, which is pretty big. Um, you know, I, I I thought it would be a little less than that, but uh, 621 for a median home price is pretty high. Now, obviously these numbers don't take into account, for instance, every new construction home that's available out there as most builders, you know, if they've got 40 lots, they don't list all 40 lots on the MLS. And when a property sells, they don't list it and then register it as sold. Uh, it's just something that doesn't really happen in the new construction um, segment as much. It would be nice if it did, because then we would get an even more accurate representation of where the market is. You know, because I am going to say like, you know, realistically with new build inventory, there's definitely more inventory out there, but you have to know where to find it. Which also brings me to, in this type of a market, when inventory is this slim, um, trying to go it alone, I'm going to say is next to impossible. Sit down, talk to your realtor. If you don't have a realtor, get one. Ask your friends, hit us up in the DMs. And what you need to do is you need to really do what's called a buyer consult. And sometimes these days, because we're moving at such a fast pace, we kind of ignore these. And what a buyer consult is, is as agents, when we sit down and we really try and hone in and understand what is it that our clients are looking to purchase um, at the end of the day, and then we go out and find it. Now, when you've got 0.6 months worth of inventory in the city of London, you maybe aren't going to find it in a week, two weeks. It could actually take you three months to find it. Who knows, even six. So... Um, have those meetings and uh, if you have had one with your realtor and you're not having any luck maybe actually um, redo it and maybe you've adjusted what you're after whether it's price whether it's your neighborhood um, but anyways because I really don't see this market giving up at all even if we see uh, an interest rate hike or two I really don't think that um, you know we're gonna all of a sudden see a slowing of the market uh, there's a lot of strong employment growth occurring in London and that's going to happen next year with the new Amazon plants that are opening up. So get out there, sharpen your pens. If we can help in any way, hit us up in the DMs uh, or comment down below. Again, it's Matt Santacapita from the Santa Sells Houses team. Hopefully you got some value from this video.